Okay. Where the hell? That's quite a view, huh? Yeah. You know, sinking and jumping, are you? There's only one way down. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, Dragonborn. Where's your sense of it? Okay, there's Rigmo. The river flows east. We can follow it down, then turn off to the woodcutter's camp located on the map. Okay. Dragonborn, wait. You know, I haven't felt so happy since I was a kid. All this has brought it all back. I was wondering... What did you do? You know, when you were a kid. I don't remember. What do you mean you don't remember? There must be something that you keep with you from back then. Okay, okay. Keep your hair on. Okay. Hey, well, I have enough memories for two. Ah, I'm sorry. You don't want to hear some old stuffy crazy girl talk. Okay. Okay. You know our old house in Burma? Well, it used to have a gate. My dad built a small fence and the gate was in two sections. He was really proud of that gate and I... Oh, I must have been about four or five. I used to swing on it. It was one of my first memories because it was getting late and time just stood still. I remember the sun was setting and the yellowy orange top my mom had made me lit up like it was made out of the brightest gold. And I remember looking down at my feet, and I would wiggle my toes and legs to make the gate swing to and fro. My mom would come out and tell me off, Don't you that. Get off before your father gets home. My best friend at the dark elf girl called Luna Shadow, and her dad was a stable hand at the Brandon Elf Stable. He would travel down to the Gold Coast every now and then to pick up supplies in a carriage and take us with him. I loved going to Anvil. It's right on the coast and we used to stretch our necks at every hilltop to see if we could see the sea. Oh my. You know, it's this one. No, it's the neck. Oh. <laughs> I better save it. <laughs> oh my. Me and Luna used to throw snowballs at the tap and tack until Colin came out. We would run as fast as our legs would take us. Oh my. And then he would wave his fist at us shouting, You'll fetch it! And one day he chased us down. 
Luna got away, but he grabbed me by the scruff of the neck. Ha ha! Gotcha! And marched me home. Mom was so angry. Wait till your father hears what you did. It wasn't so funny after that. I waited in my room until Dad came home. I heard Mom tell him what I did. He didn't come get me. I plucked up enough courage to face the music at Dad, am I in trouble? He patted his thigh for me to sit on his lap. And just held on to me for what seemed like ages. Then he said, You're meant to throw the snowballs after Colin opens the door. <laughs> Luna's dad got a job in Morrowind raising horses. I never saw him again. Okay. I don't know where I'm going. We got an arrow. I'm going the right way, pretty much. Following the river. Imperial War Galley. Looking for us, maybe. It's been a couple of days now. We need to get off this island. Come on, let's get going. I wonder if the Kenya will ever catch up. I'm sure she will. Sit on the chair, talk to Rigmore. Where will we go? What's the plan? I think we need to get back to Bruma via Skyrim. They might need us there to see off a battle. We could sneak through the enemy lines at night or fight our way through. 
Uh, there might be a few friends we could recruit. Dragonborn, it's been four years. They would have moved on. Everyone has. Maybe. Uh, let's cross that bridge when we come to it. Dragonborn, listen. The crickets. They've stopped. Something's happening, yeah. Yeah, right. Still someone left. This way. You got him. Right. Right. What the hell are they? Some kind of vampiric reptile? Apparently, yeah. And the others? Are they humans? Vampiric defilers. Check out the bodies. See if you can find anything. Yeah. Okay. Need a sergeant. Um... Found something. Same goes to take prison. Morag Sethius wrote the note. What does she want with me? Uh, she wants you for herself. I think she wants to make you a vampire. What do you mean? No. No. This can't be right. I feel sick. Let's get out okay. of here. <coughs> Continue through the forest. This way.
How big is this island? Yes. Is it ever going to end? I thought the great forest was big. Something's not right. Not right at all. Dragonborn, please stop. I don't feel too good. Everything feels so heavy. Um... I'm not gonna make it. I just wanna sleep. What? Some, did one of them bite you? I don't think so. But they did try to drain me. I'm just so tired. Um... Uh, better... Not stop then. <sighs> Dragonborn, look. An old shack. There's someone there. Maybe we can pay for some food and I can get some sleep. I can't carry on. Yeah, I'm reminded Hello? of something. Hello? Anybody home? Seems a bit too convenient. Dragonborn, look at all these recipes. Ah, I'm so tired I could sleep for a hundred years. Yeah, I think we might wake up as... Welcome to my food. humble abode. Really? Humble abode, eh? What do you mean you know, huh? I know. I apologize for any inconvenience. Hmm. The girl is afflicted. I thought something like that. It was you did battle with the undead. These remnants from Akvir, they have been here before, visited many times. Your friend has become afflicted with living death, a perpetual malaise of sleep. It occurs to all who do battle with them. Uh, not me. But you are anointed, my child, and a half-beast. Everyone keeps saying that. I have a recipe that will save her. But you must act quickly and gather some ingredients for me. Uh... Well, I don't trust the crone. Well, I suppose there's no... It's not a couple. Three rabbit legs, one small deer antler, three blood wart, and one Namira's rot. You'll find them nearby in the forest. But try not to stray too far, as with the night, danger lurks. I'll look after Rigmore, but we don't have much time. Yeah. Um, I never s said that was her name. <laughs> Go, shoo. Time is running out. Shoo, shoo. Wait a minute. Azura? Maybe that's Azura. I suppose I got no choice. <laughs> 